In this video, I'm going to review Shapeshift OS 2.4. So let's have a look at it without wasting any time. Also follow me on Instagram as I will be posting more updates over there. If we try to believe in anything greater than a miracle It wouldn't be this difficult If we, we try to be a negative bull, yeah, We could be taking control yeah. If we try to believe in anything greater than a miracle It wouldn't be this difficult If we, we try to be a negative bull, yeah, We could be taking control yeah. We could be taking control,
死んでいる No God No God please no I have recorded this gameplay at 720p with Moonlight EAS 2.1 kernel. After watching the results with stock kernel, I have decided to use Moonlight kernel. As you can see, the gameplay is pretty smooth with this kernel. So if you want to play some games without any lags, then I would recommend to use Moonlight kernel. So here is the benchmark results and this one is with Predator Stormbreaker X 4.3 which is stock kernel and this one is with Moonlight 2.1 which is impressive. So then comes the results with CPU throttling test and as you can see stock kernel is very bad and then comes the Moonlight 2.1 which is quite impressive. So with stock kernel I got 6 hours and 10 minutes of screen on time and as you can see here is the stats too. Usage with Moonlight 2.1 is from 90% and as you can see I got 5 hours and 23 minutes of screen on time. So from 100% it can be similar to stock kernel. The safety net doesn't pass by default, you need to enable magic card to make it work. And the wide one is L3 by default. Now let's have a look at the pros and cons of this room. So this room can be used as a daily driver while there are no lags in UI and the bugs are very less. So then in cons the charging speeds are very slow with stock kernel. Also the wide one is L3 which means no HD playback in Netflix and Prime Video. After some days I faced audio lag, maybe it is due to a module which I removed. So the wallpapers app was crashing when I was setting a new wallpaper and setting a clock to right side doesn't work too. So overall this room is pretty good for daily driver and you can use it as a daily driver too. Also this room comes with Google Apps pre-installed so you don't need to install them manually.